From its Puritan roots to complaints of rampant commercialism, Christmas in America has been filled with traditions, old and new. Some date back to 16th century Germany or even ancient Greek times, while others have caught on in modern times. Here's a look at 10 ways Americans have celebrated the Christmas season. From singing songs and reciting poems to decorating trees and swapping cookies and wearing ugly sweaters. Number 1. Christmas Trees Decorated trees date back to Germany in the Middle Ages, with German and other European settlers popularizing Christmas trees in America by the early 19th century. A New York woodsman named Mark Carr is credited with opening the first U.S. Christmas tree lot in 1851. A 2019 survey by the American Christmas Tree Association predicted that 77% of U.S. households displayed a Christmas tree in their home. Among the trees on display, an estimated 81% were artificial and 19% were real. Number 2. Advent Calendars Early versions of this tradition, started in Germany in 1903 by publisher Gerhard Land, offered a way for children to count down to Christmas by opening one door or window a day to reveal a Bible passage, poem or small gift. Since gaining mass popularity by 1920, the calendars have evolved to secular calendars. That include daily gifts from mini bottles of wine to nail polish to chocolates to action figures. Number 3. The Nutcracker For many, the holiday season is not complete without a trip to watch this ballet. With music by Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky and originally choreographed by Marius Petipa, the romantic tale of the young Clara's Christmas Eve premiered December 18, 1892, in St. Petersburg, Russia. It was performed for the first time outside of Russia in 1934 in England, and made its way to the United States in 1944 when it was performed by the San Francisco Ballet. It became a must-see event in America in the 1960s as performances spread across the nation. Number 4. Ugly Christmas Sweaters you can blame our neighbors to the north for this silly, ironic tradition that really gained steam in the 1980s. According to the Ugly Christmas Sweater Party book, sweaters became a party trend in Vancouver, Canada in 2001. And the trend is seemingly here to stay. According to Fox Business, the ugly sweater industry is a multi-million business, with websites such as Tipsy Elves, retailers including Macy's, Kohl's and Target and even food chains jumping on the ugly bandwagon. Number 5. Cookies and Milk for Santa While leaving treats for Santa and his reindeer dates back to ancient Norse mythology, Americans began to sweeten up to the tradition during the Great Depression in the 1930s, as a sign of showing gratitude during a time of struggle. Number 6. Candy Canes Whether devoured as a treat or hung on the tree as decoration, Candy canes are the number one selling non-chocolate candy during December and date back to 1670 Germany. The red and white peppermint sticks arrived stateside in 1847, when a German-Swedish immigrant in Worcester, Ohio placed them on a tree. By the 1950s, an automated candy cane making machine was invented, cementing their mass appeal. Number 7. Door Wreaths Wreaths have been around since the ancient Greek and Roman times but the evergreen Christmas wreath, often adorned with boughs of holly, eventually took on Christian meaning with the circular shape representing eternal life and the holly leaves and berries symbolic of Christ's crown of thorns and blood, according to the New York Times. Today's wreaths, which come in all varieties, from flowers and fruit to glass balls and ribbon to artificial and themed, are most often seen as a secular winter tradition. Number eight. Christmas Cards The first official Christmas card debuted in 1843 England with the simple message, A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. The idea of a mailed winter holiday greeting gradually caught on in both Britain and the US, with the Kansas City-based Hall Brothers creating a folded card sold with an envelope in 1915. Today, according to the Greeting Card Association, more than 1.6 billion holiday cards are sold annually. Number 9. Christmas Lights Thomas Edison may be famous for the light bulb, but it was his partner and friend, Edward Hibbard Johnson, 
who had the bright idea of stringing bulbs around a Christmas tree in New York in 1882. By 1914, the lights were being mass-produced, and now some 150 million sets of lights are sold in the U.S. each year. Number 10. A Visit from St. Nick Best known as The Night Before Christmas, the reading of this classic by poet Clement Moore is an American holiday tradition. Believed to have been written on Christmas Eve of 1822, the New Yorker is said to have been inspired by his sleigh ride home. According to the U.S. Library of Congress, Clement, a professor at the General Theological Seminary in Manhattan, was embarrassed by the work, which was made public without his knowledge in December 1823. Moore did not publish it under his name until 1844. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video and learnt something new, make sure to subscribe for more. Goodbye, everyone.